Yo, what's good guys and welcome to another episode of our series Solving Wasi Why a Question is Practical for Elective ICT. My name is Kujo Japon and I give you a very warm welcome. Tap, relax and chill out with me. Alright, so we finish with other previous two years that was 2015 then 2016. Then we will clear them. So we then move on to the other one plus 2017 or so we then move on to the next one which will be 2018 now make a look at the question what we actually were given in 2018 Ooh, surprise surprise all right so this will be the paper this will be part three for two hours answer three questions now the instructions here something way they change small for create one a folder for the desktop in top not any root directory inside so right you go to the desktop then the same usual initials for one of names followed by one of index number you bab so if for do one so then we finish you know the day already we take cd we bend one of four down the cd then we will label one of cd that's the volume as one of index number then we get some extra points for doing that all right so let's do Make you do um, fast, 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 then start to solve this question. All right, so already I get a folder created in my initials and then my index number. It way it did the desktop. So I finish the worker. I will come take chalk this one inside. You bob sharp. All right, so make you look at the question. Take a moment and then look at this question. Right, so upon looking at this, you the bab say it be some form of table where forms the inside, right? Some small table like that, then you go put form for inside. Now the form we see say we get two labels, name then comment, then we get two input fields. So names and comments, then the input fields we there. here. Then we get a submit button. Before use one a full name the index number as title. Then we for indent one a code we finish for save them as form.html that be all 15 marks. Alright, so we know we check for this one top. Let me just see how we go do this one. Now make you snap this here, then call VS code. Now by now you guys be familiar with this. See, we go use this one small. So say when I work go be quite easier. Alright, so I create folder for the desktop. Make you save the file as form.html okay now we come here then make you try adjust this so say we go see them um, side by side awesome all right so now immediate code we get the basic structure down here the more reason why we they use the special editor says a when i wake go be quite faster all right so title then say make we use okay we know they hear this attribute here regardless mm, this is quite a basic task for you know go here i'm ready now back to the title the title is say for use one a name then one index number um zero one one zero 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 one zero one all right so that be my name kojo japon then the index number so that be the title. If you need plus the, if you need plus the head tag. Now we go into the body. Now the body inside here, we the see say, if we create some small table, we will contain one a form. Yeah. So we start to create that one. So make you start table. Uh, table make you just give them an attribute of a border. Let's say you give them one. To so say the thickness go just go be light. That be all. So inside one a table, first off, if we create this part, the short part, the first row, so we create a table row, so TR here. Then um, this TR inside here, for create one a table data. Now the data here, no will contain anything. We just the here, just this row. So we could give them an attribute of width. So let's say, make you assume, say we'll give them like 700. Then we'll give a height of 
see um make you see height height how much and say 25 will be okay or 30. all right so that's that's it for one table data that is all we need we need to hear anything apart from that all right so make a spin the server so see we'll see what we create so far all right so this is what you create so far so the top part check like the 30 bullet so if you just reduce them to let's say 25 then hl yeah all right so next up if we create another the down part i took the down part uh, what do i mean now spy here the question then give you so the top part will create now the back here just say it be another row but ebola the height way far that be why it stretch and so so say when a form will go inside so which we go do and so so we come here they create another table another table row that's the tr so we create the tr then we will take one a table data now this table data we just will give an attribute of height so this height we will give them so make it be like say 200 and see so we save them then see what you create so far so basically we get something nice right so when a table will fit, fit into this area you bob yeah so we did on course we did on form uh make we finish all right so back here inside here we if we start the create one form for inside All right, so we start to create one of form. Now this form, what it gets? It gets basically, I think I just create more space here. So see, you can see top here. Yeah. Sorry, I don't do that earlier on. I mean, sorry. All right, uh, so up here, we just will create two labels with two input fields, then a submit button in that. All right, so first off, label. And we are creating a label for what? We are creating it for name. All right, so name. Then we send. And after that, it gets an input field. So we will create input given. This input field, the type, it be test. It just be a test file, a test field. So test. Did it. There. Then if we give them an ID. Mm, that is for the name and basically that will be it that's what you need now if you just to save time copy and paste this part this block then paste for here then we are only left to just change a few details inside this so comment then we change that from name to comment and basically that is basically what we have. So the ID name here, we name that to comment. But yeah, so easy peasy, copying is easy. All right, so we get that down. Now we've done this, we've done this too. We just need the submit button and then that will be it. So input type, so the type here is a submit button. You bob. Now, you see the name on the button itself that is the value so you come here where you see login or register or accept that be what you for place as the attribute the value for the attribute value so the value here in in value the value attributes get a value of submit you bob with the tank twist or tank twisting all right so maybe save this then go to Wanna file then see what we've created so far. Awesome. We create them, but they are not in a specific like the order we didn't hear them. So if we separate them, bring comments down and then submit down. So we just for break break them. That be all. Break them. Break them. B R B R. Break them. Break them. So we get this. Then at the end of it all to for break the last one. So say then all then go tear them my body. So we save this and see what you have. All right. So this so far so good, right? But we see that it's not really the J what we have here. 
Why? Because they are all centered aligned. So the center alignment for come. Just say then go did the middle. That'd be all. So where if we apply this one? If we apply to the table details here, the table data here. So we'll just add the align attributes then for center above. So I will make you see how it will change for here. So save them. Then you see say it shifts them all to the middle. Now we are getting something that is similar to what we have here. Now you go notice say this one's be okay, but the submit button it did the far end. We wanna own it no day there. So if we do then make it go there, you bob. Alright, so how we go do that? We go use CSS cascading style sheets. Some attributes we did there. Now what you did here be say we we'll change the submit in position. So we go use the position attributes. Now that position we get, say we go make them fixed, we go make them relative, or we want whatever we want, we they see there for there now. Yes, yeah, so we go use the absolute value here. Then again, what we did here, we sound for push them. We sound for push them. So how we they push them? Where we they push them towards? Here on the browser's point of view, here be in right side, here be in left side. So we they push them to the left side. The left side, how many pixels will they push them to? So make we assume say we they push them like mm, let's go bigger, 400 pixels, then see. If it be too close or far, then we go adjust this value. You bob sharp. So we'll make we do that. Save this and see what we get. Yeah, the 400 not really go anywhere. So we need to increase this. So make it try 550 then see. Oh, okay. So we are getting somewhere. I'll be your you did see. Yeah, so that be what you get. So we push them away from them small. But then somebody go argue, yeah, we are done. Yeah, we should get our full marks for here. But for perfectionist, Nego talk say okay, the button it will last small. So how we go do that one? Uh, so it'll be very simple. We just for add extra attributes here. So say this small button go bola small. All right. So what we did here? Now we need to work with the width and then in height. That be all. So as you may see the width, we use 10 m. Now this measurement it is it they make the thing the scale better. So I they like they prefer to use this one. M. You can use. PT over there, you can use pixels and all that, but you have to adjust so say you will get whatever you have. But for this reason, I just they use this one. And weigh the height. The height to make I use small m then c. If in no source, then okay. So you see how what what will they get for here? So something so if we manipulate the figures, if it suits what you did, it'd be you. Or you like then fine make a reduce the small bring them back then finally we have something where it be very similar to what we have here so what now we have to save our work i for copy this code just for the sake of you or you guys usually we go use the normal notepad for class or school machine top so we just copy and paste for this notepad inside then from here it's an easy drive right we hit file click save us then we go where we save one of our for it did desktop one a folder so that be the folder we create way for save one a file now the file name the question say make we save them as file form.html then the type make we use all files so say you go use the extension .html encoding the utf8 then we go save them you bob so anytime we go really wanna folder inside so it did desktop you build this one inside you launch them you see say this be what we get so the one going to grade you will see that you've done a perfect job excellent job then you get everything all the marks 15. all right guys that be the conclusion of today's episode. Make sure, say, if you are new here, I beg, subscribe, hit the like button, you bab. 
then go down there in the comments if anything they what you want me to explain if this video is as helping you to learn make a note just get interactive talk to me leave me a comment i will come reply to you about then stay safe share with your friends everywhere all platforms take this step then make them learn make them learn like you so say you all go pass then move on about all right kojo japan here thanks you thank and then um thank you very much for paying attention here and then joining me on this one i'll see you in the next video bye bye for now